Alright, so we got two new bug fixes on Doomfist on PTR right now. I'm going to explain what they mean, and I'm going to show you uh, the fixes. So I'm currently on the live version of Overwatch, um, so I could show you uh, the actual bug before it was fixed on PTR. So, yeah. So the first bug fix on Doomfist on PTR is fixed a bug where Doomfist rocket punch impact animation would incorrectly play twice. Now, I'm pretty sure if you play Doomfist, you've had this bug happen to you before. Um, I'm going to show you this right here. Now, that that is a temporary version of the bug. That's what I call it. Um, there's actually two variations of this bug. There's a temporary version and the permanent version. Uh, the temporary version, your first punch that you uh, want to throw out, is um, it ends up being bugged, but all your future punches are going to be normal. Uh, the way I think it works is, um, it thinks I'm about to punch this wall right here, but I don't, so it kind of plays that animation, and it, uh, just bugs out your punch, I guess, just like that. Um, that's how I think it works, I mean, it kind of just makes sense, because, obviously, if I do it, like, right here, it doesn't happen, but if I do it, if I do, like, a diag right here, I get really close to punching this wall, but it doesn't happen, so it kind of plays that, uh, punch animation. So that's the temporary version. It's uh, fixed on PTR right now. And I'll show you guys a little later. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the permanent version now. Okay, uh, I am still in the live version of Overwatch. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the permanent version of the uh, punch glitch. Um, I, I don't really understand how or why this works the way it, the way it does. But... Um, I mean, I have like a small idea on why it might work, but like, it, it just doesn't make sense to me at all. I can't really explain it. Um, but basically, if you go on this map right here and you come right here, um, you have to like punch the air and you don't want to punch this wall. So kind of like that. Um, and if you get it right, all your punches will be bugged. So the first punch you do will look normal. And then your second punch and everything above that is going to appear bugged. Now, you might be asking, well, who who's going to come over here and punch the air and uh, repeat this bug? Like, it happens mid-game. Like, you could punch something in the air and it'll just happen. Um, it's the same thing with the temporary and permanent version. It just happens while you're playing the game. Uh, it gets really annoying sometimes. And uh, the permanent version is the worst one. The temporary is pretty annoying as well, but... Uh, I found this spot right here where I can kind of repeat the permanent version every single time. So uh, hopefully I can get it in a few tries uh, and I can show you guys what I mean. Alright, so we now have the permanent version of the punch glitch. As you see, the first punch I did looked completely normal and then all my future punches are now bugged. And this is super annoying when you're trying to like bounce off of something or if you're trying to punch somebody. It's just really annoying. It's really loud as you can hear. Um, it's just a really annoying punch bug. And the only way to fix it on your end would be to punch a wall. And it actually creates a two impact uh, visuals. I don't know if other people can really see that, but uh, that that's just how you fix it. Now all your punches are fixed. So. This should be fixed on PTR. This is actually kind of big. Uh, this this punch bug was really annoying on Doomfist, especially when it happens mid game. Uh, and I'll show you guys on PTR. All right, so we are on the PTR version of Overwatch, and I'm gonna show you that the uh, temporary version of the punch glitch is fixed. Like it just doesn't happen anymore. Oh, well, I kind of messed up right there, but I mean it can still happen actually. Uh, I don't have to do a diag for it to happen, but you can clearly see that I'm not getting the uh, visual punch glitch anymore. And this is just for the temporary version. Um, I did not test the permanent version yet. I will soon. But you can clearly see that the uh, visual glitch for the temporary version is uh, fixed, which is uh, good news. Alright, so I've been testing this uh, for a little bit, and I cannot repeat the permanent version of the glitch, uh, so it appears to be fixed. Alright, so I'm in the live version of Overwatch. Uh, I'm going to explain the second bug fix. Uh, it says right here, fix a bug where Doomfist would incorrectly maintain vertical momentum while entering Meteor Strike. Now, you're probably like, well, what does that mean? Okay, so this was actually a 
suggestion I gave to one of the developers. Um, this is a really annoying thing that happens to Doom. So I'm pretty sure you guys had a situation where like you're either falling off the map or like uh, let's say you're trying to slam right here and like a McCree flashes you and you start falling and you try to activate your ultimate and like this happens. Um, it's somewhat fixed. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what exactly happens and why this happens. Okay, so I'm going to put this in slow-mo just so you can get a better visual of this. So I'm going to go high up in the air and I'm going to start falling, okay? And I want you to pay attention where my crosser is when I activate my ultimate. You see how I activated my ultimate kind of like by the bridge right here? And I ended up way down here. Now you can see why you die when you're falling off the map and you activate your ultimate. You're keeping that falling momentum while you're activating your ultimate and you end up hitting the the death zone of like going off the map. And that's what causes uh, you dying off the map while you're going into your ultimate. So I activated my ultimate about like right here and I, my character actually ended up like right down there. So you can kind of see what causes uh, you going off the map while you're activating your ultimate. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you on PTR what looks different. And it's actually a really good uh, change for Doom. Because stuff like this is, isn't going to happen to you, as often at least. Um, it could still happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll just be considered a uh, mispredict. But... Uh, uh, it's, it's still a really good change for Doom. You're not going to continue falling while you're activating your ultimate. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to show you guys on PTR now. Alright, so I'm now on the PTR version of Overwatch. And I'm going to be testing the ultimate vertical momentum thing. So we're going to go ahead. We have it in slow-mo. Okay. We're just going to go as high as we can. Drop down. Pay attention to where my crosser is when I activate my ultimate. And look at that. Exactly where I pressed my Q is exactly where I ended up. I didn't drop all the way down there. So this is pretty good. Uh, let's do it one more time in regular speed. Look at my crosshair. I pretty much ended up exactly where I was when I uh, pressed my ultimate. Uh, now let's try uh, pressing my ultimate right before I die. It should still happen. Oh, it's a little harder now. Okay. Let's put him over here. Yeah, it's really hard to do it on purpose now. Uh, I think the only time it'll really happen is if you're lagging really bad or have a really high ping. Um, if your timing is really good, it might happen, but I think that would be considered a uh, mispredict and not a... Uh, not an issue with the momentum thing. Because it's clearly fixed. We clearly saw when I activated my ultimate. Uh, oh, I had it right there for a second. But that that would be... Uh, I'm pretty sure that would be considered a uh, mispredict. So, you saw the circle around my crosshair. Yeah, I got it again. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be considered a uh, mispredict. But you can see it's a lot more harder to pull off now. Um, and this is a really nice change for Doom. So, yeah. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if there's any more future changes on Doomfist on PTR, I'll make videos of it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. Uh, I also have a Discord if you want to join that. Um, I also recently started using Twitter if you want to go ahead and give me a follow. All that stuff is in the description. Um, now, another thing I wanted to bring up was my older montages, 15.0, and the next streamer reactions. Um, so the older montages, they're blocked because of copyright. Uh, I have to find another website to upload them to. 15.0, I'm working on it. I don't know how long it'll take. Streamer reactions, uh, it's going to come soon. I don't know when, but soon. Uh, but for me getting 40k subscribers, uh, what I want to do is I want to make a guide on how to reduce your chances of getting a slider on Doomfist. So I don't know when I'll make that, but yeah, thanks for watching.